Hi, my name is Michael Stevenson, and my wife and I are the co-owners of Transform Destiny and Influence to Profit, uh, two global NLP training companies. Um, in these companies, we teach people how to use neuro-linguistic programming, um, both in the personal life and also in their business. Transform Destiny is the personal development side. So we teach people how to run their own mind so their mind doesn't run them using NLP. And uh, we teach people how to use NLP in their own life as well as their families. And then we have professional certification courses where people can come and get certified to work with others one-on-one. -on -one. So they can become coaches or practitioners and help other people in their life. Then there's Influence to Profit. And Influence to Profit is the business side. So we teach people how to use neuro-linguistic programming in their businesses so that they can communicate better. Uh, most business owners have a really hard time communicating what they do in a way that gets people excited. And so what we do is we show people how to use ethical influence and persuasion in their business so that you can help more people and ultimately grow your profits. Listening to Michael on the stage, um, I knew he was the real deal. I could feel the honesty, the integrity, um, and that he was living his passion. So it wasn't just something that he was just you know, doing for a work or for a job. This was something that was in his heart. Michael gave me hope, I guess is the easiest way to state it. And not only did he give me hope and he gave me a dose of optimism, but the probably the chief nugget, if there was one thing I could say, is um, he put me back in control of my life. I met Michael about five years ago. Um, I had a friend of mine who was training with him and she said, I've got this friend, he's doing a class and you need to come. And so I went to one of his weekend events and fell in love with NLP, with everything that he was teaching um, and just I've been with him ever since. I was very, very hungry for knowledge and Michael provided what I was looking for. When you meet him, he's so like cool and approachable and uh, there's no ego there. I was very interested in people and how people work and the language and communication and I came across Michael's website and ended up taking NLP prac training, uh, hypno hypnosis and just kind of fell in love with Michael and the way he teaches things and the way you could influence someone by just the way you speak and the way in your actions. NLP stands for Neuro Linguistic Programming. And essentially, what, there's two ways that I like to think of it. One way is it's the lost user manual for the mind. We are born into this world with this just amazing equipment. You know, this mind that we have is so powerful, is so vast. And most people are walking around using just a fraction of 1% of their mind. Imagine that you got a supercomputer and you took it home and you unboxed it and you plugged it in and you realize that they forgot to put the instruction manual in the box. What would you be able to do with a supercomputer without knowing how to program it, without knowing how to read it, without knowing what it does or what, a, what its purpose is? And so what I find is that NLP is like giving us that lost user manual for the supercomputer that we have, you know, which is the mind. NLP is not capital P psychology, the field of psychology, which for a hundred years has been studying disorder and disability. NLP is the flip side of that. We do study the mind, but what we study is excellence, success, happiness, prosperity. And, um, and, you know, so it has a, to me, it has a much more positive way of doing things. Instead of saying, you're screwed up and here's a pill for you or here's a diagnosis or a therapy, we say, here's how people are excellent and you can be excellent too. Beyond just the business stuff, we can learn about ourselves. What you learn from Michael really touches you at the core. So you, you can't just change your business. He's influenced so many things in my life, from my career to my relationship. Um, I wouldn't have the home I'm in right now, as a matter of fact, if it wasn't for a very direct connection that Michael gave me. He's so generous and so open to give everybody the best tools he has. Everything that he offers, I've taken it over the past like uh, year, nine months. It's impossible for me to say that anybody other than probably my parents has influenced me as much directly as Michael. There's something about the way Michael spoke, the words he used and his whole way of speaking and engaging, not only the audience, but as well as myself. So I sat and listened to his presentation, which was amazing. The influence side of NLP is really important because um, I find that most people in their life, we, we don't learn how to communicate effectively beyond the age of, say, nine or 10 years old. I mean, beyond nine or 10 years old, the only way that we enrich our language is through vocabulary. You know, you get into junior high, they start giving you more words to learn. 
they don't necessarily tell you how to use those words in a way that actually impacts people. If it wasn't for influence, then Martin Luther King Jr. would have just been some crazy dude standing on the corner with a bullhorn in his mouth. People look at somebody like a Martin Luther King Jr. and they, they say he's special. That's why he created the movement that he created. That's why he could get millions and millions of people to listen to him, millions of people to show up in person, because he's special. No, we're all special, right? We all come to this world special, but most of us are just lacking that thing. The, the thing that made him different was his ability to influence people, his ability to move people, his ability to find out what makes people tick and then speak to that, speak to the need that people have inside of them. You know, you have to learn how to tell your story if you're a business owner. You have to learn how to tell the story of your product or service. You have to learn how to tell the stories of how that product or service has helped other people because most people, when you tell them what you do, they're gonna have limiting beliefs. Their limiting belief might be, um, I don't have the money, I can't afford it, I don't have the time. Maybe their limiting belief is, I don't think it'll work for me. Maybe people are stuck in the belief that uh, I don't believe you, too good to be true. And most people lack the communication skills to overcome those. So we like to help people and, and teach um, you know, these heart-centered business owners how to expand their influence so that they can, you know, number one, help more people, but number two, profit from that. Because I believe that people who are actually changing the world deserve to be wealthy. It's one thing to be in control of your life, but what he really taught me was I was worthy of having the things that I wanted. One of the things that I learned from Michael that applies to both business and my personal life is I've always had this belief that I was not that valuable. And he took us, allowed us to go through this process about belief systems. And that was huge for me because I was finally able to overcome that belief that I wasn't valuable. My life would be in a totally different a place, or I wouldn't even probably even be in Los Angeles if it wasn't for Michael. He was the one that taught me to believe in myself when I didn't believe in myself, when I could have packed up my bags and I could have just called it quits. Once I took the online certification, I kept wanting to develop myself more. And one of the most valuable things is that Michael taught me how to be at cause. It's putting yourself at the cause side of things rather than being on the effect side of things. That was powerful for me. Michael seriously takes the guesswork out of it, where he's a researcher and he stays at the forefront of what's current, what works right now. With Michael, you basically get like everything that you really need to know about running a business, both from a mindset perspective as well as like marketing, offline, online, funnels, strategy, everything. I've taken NLP and I've made it practical. Because to me, if it isn't practical, it isn't usable. If it isn't usable, it isn't worth learning. And so, you know, the way that I've done that is, is I, when I first went to NLP trainings, I wasn't interested in becoming a therapist or a coach. I went because I wanted to work on myself and I wanted to work on my business. And so I did a lot of work adapting what I learned in those certification trainings, adapting them to my business, adapting them into my life, and really figuring out like what works. One of the best traits of Michael is just simply that he cares. He wants to see you succeed, whatever it is. He models what he teaches. Um, to me, integrity is very important, and I see that in Michael. He just doesn't teach it, he lives it. What attracted me to him in the first place was that it was his story. When you know who he is, he's just, he's, he's just a real person, and that has impacted me probably more than anything else. I admire him personally for what he's been through, and it's lovely to work with someone who uh, has so much abundance that their focus is switched from income to um, really serving. Michael is very generous, very giving. He comes from the heart and that's something that I really respect and really admire about him is he, he really is compassionate about what he does. He's very authentic and that is so important. 24 years ago I was stuck living on the streets on a park bench. There are people who are stuck in an old relationship that doesn't work for them anymore. There are people who are stuck in an old job that they can't stand and they wish they had something else. Or maybe there are people who are stuck at a job they love but they're not making the kind of money they want to make. And most of us lack the skills to be able to communicate with another person, to influence another person, to actually get what we want out of life. So what happens is we have this world full of billions of people who are living lives that, that, that don't match the lives that they want in their head. He is self-made and he came up and he used NLP and other tools to completely transform his life. I think that when somebody comes from a background where they have to lift themselves up out of uh, a situation or, or a life that um, 
it was difficult, that it creates something in them where they never take it for granted and they want to help other people do the same. He really helped me embrace my past because my past is what drives me to do what I do today. He's a very good teacher and I haven't found that in too many people who can really take so many of these concepts and so many of these ideas from, from different arenas, different areas and bring it all together. NLP is taught in such a general sense you, they give you, you know, all these tools, a tool belt full of tools that you can use on all kinds of different things, but it's very general. So what I found was people were going home with this tool belt full of tools, but they weren't pulling the tools out in different areas of life. So one of the things that I focused on over the years was creating different courses to apply NLP to different areas of life. So for instance, we have courses on motivation, goal setting, how to manage your time, relationships, influence. And we have people who go through these courses online and what we find is that now people are actually getting results from NLP. I really wanted to make NLP something that was accessible to everybody. So what we've done is we've created a range of products for people in, in any area. So if you're really down on your luck and you need something to change your life now and you don't have any money for it, we've got a free training. Just go to freenlphomestudy.com and all you got to do is put in a, a name and email address and you get a 10 hour NLP training. Um, you know, we have other trainings that start at $7. You know, and then, and then we have trainings for the people who are ready for it. We have trainings that go up to $2,000 for a certification course. If you want to be a professional and actually make a career out of NLP, then there are the higher dollar trainings for that. And then we have one-on-one -on -one coaching and things like that as well. But what, what we've done is we've really created a range of products and services that kind of meet you where you're at and what you need um, from NLP. It's been just an extraordinary year. It's been an extraordinary year of learning, of growing, of implementing, of taking our business to levels that we didn't even recognize that we could do. I thought I knew a lot. And I realized, yes, I do know a lot, but there are some key things that I didn't know that are really very crucial to succeeding. Once you learn how to really influence people, once you, once you really understand people, deep understanding of people, and you know how to speak the language that stimulates them, that gets them to, to open up, to lower the barriers and actually listen to you. Once you know that, what happens is rather than you chasing clients all the time, clients start to chase you. And he's one of my kind compared to all the other people that I've learned from. Michael doesn't over-promise and under-deliver. He actually under-promises and over-delivers. As solid as his business skills are and as much he can help with marketing, um, he has a tool set to help you in really any area of life. It's going to help move the business forward. It's going to help my personal life. It's going to help me be a better parent. It's not just in business that influence is important. And even though our, our influence events are business events, you know, everything that we teach in those courses you can use in your personal life as well. And we often have people, business owners, that come to Influence to Profit. And yes, they learn how to market better. And yes, they learn how to write better emails and sell better and negotiate better. But then they also come back to us and say, you know, this improved my life at home too. I recommend anything and everything that Michael teaches. He teaches in such a way that it's easy to understand. Anyone can go and do it. And even if it's something you think you've heard before, you hear it in a different way. And it means something different. And it's a lot more impactful and precise. It's just been an interesting and very fun ride. Michael impressed me as a genuine person. Michael comes from absolute integrity. And that is really important to me to work with people who come from a place of integrity. He is uh, leading the way by being someone who is visible, including all of his flaws or vulnerabilities, and um, making it okay for me to do the same. He walked his talk, and he does that to this day. I think if you're looking for a coach and a mentor, Michael Stevenson is a real deal. What makes Michael different is that he, he's always over-delivering. It was on a TV show and they asked me, you know, who's, who's your mentor or who's, who's one of the people that you look up to? And right away it was Michael. That was the first name. Well, my dad and then Michael. <laughs> because he's so knowledgeable and well-versed in, in so many different areas, you can really work with him on anything. I love that about our courses is that you can learn it for business, but then it also applies to your, your personal life. He has the biggest heart for everybody around him, his family, his friends, um, his students. You know, I consider myself a teacher, so he was definitely a perfect role model for me and a perfect mentor for me. You know, I listened to my intuition and I listened to my coaches and, and, you know, I kept following my passion and my bliss. And, you know, that's 
For me, that's how I ended up living the life that I'm living now. This isn't luck that created my life. It was about making a decision to take control of my life, figuring out what I wanted, and then taking steps to get there. What I like to do now is to really help other people who are maybe not as stuck as I was. Maybe they're not living on a park bench, you know? Maybe they're stuck in a career. But a lot of times people are so doubtful in their life, they just don't go to that next thing. They, they get stuck. And, you know, I love to help people out of that.